Well, we're going to start our tour today of this beautiful little hamlet of Silvergate Village here on the Blickling Estate in uh, Norfolk with Abel Heath Farm. This beautiful old farmyard is currently used by the National Trust as a base for their groundswork teams and estate management. Nobody in uh, residence here today, all locked up and secure. And farmhouse is a beautiful old building, sitting right abutted against the wall. It's been extended over the centuries. It's a three-storey building. A lovely old walled garden at the back. We're going to walk down the side and just give you a, a view back over the building from the other aspect. Just look at this beautiful old bit of walling here. It's been built time and time again over the centuries. Bottom layer of brick going down to the footings. A flint layer giving way to some 17th or 18th century brickwork with capping evident. And then a lime mortared top, which is probably more recent, 18th or 19th century, with capping brick going along. That outbuilding's obviously been extended upwards and re-roofed or roofed probably some time during the 19th century. Abel Heath nestles so beautifully on this southeastern approach in towards the village. It's just on the edge of a piece of common land called Abel Heath. The barn is used now by the National Trust. You can see it's a beautiful wall garden behind the farmhouse overlooking this pony paddock in the fields to the side. And just to my right is one of the most wonderful old oak trees on the Blickling estate. Let's go and have a look at that in closer detail. This is a short main stem on this tree. and I probably have to walk around it to give you some indication of the size of this thing. It's absolutely enormous. And then splits into five full-size tree stems going up. It's been recorded and noted and it does have its tree preservation number on it. But this thing has been here probably for three or four hundred years and probably predates most of the development on this estate. Looking down the lane you can just make out Silvergate village coming into view there with one of the roofs just puking above that hedge. So let's go down this lane and show you more of the beautiful village of Silvergate. In the centre of the village there's a rather lovely feature, a little apple orchard that's been planted up on this small probably around quarter acre plot with the power cables coming into the village. This time of year, with the long grass, it's a hum with all the insect life and some of those apples are starting to look very, very appealing. Silvercote Village is a small hamlet on the Blickling Estate, it comprises of about 15 or 20 properties. They were originally built as farming cottages support the local estate and farms around the Blickling Hall on the National Trust lands. The Trust's undertaking quite a bit of restoration work on these properties and a lot was done after one of the original thatches caught fire almost two years ago now. Some wonderful little gardens hidden away behind a lot of these cottages. Most of them are no longer thatched and have been replaced by quarry or pin tiles, and in this case, red pan tiles. This is one of my favorite little cottage gardens behind the perfect picket gateway. Always kept immaculately. A lot of the cottages are tucked away up little gravel driveways or lokes, and they've all got beautiful private fenced and hedged gardens. Detailing on these cottages, considering they were the 19th and 18th century of low-cost housing, is simply spectacular. Leaded windows, the drip protectors were in the moulded brickwork, 
I love the way time's worn its way into that brickwork with the metal fastener holding the window open that's blown against that brick and cut deep into the face of this wall. All these houses are painted in the standard national green or national trust grey green colour. Gives them a characteristic and uniform appearance. Quite a few of them give clues as to previous much older or medieval properties that probably stood here. Look at this almost herringbone appearance with the lateral broken and cut brick and then the graffiti above it that might be a date it might just be somebody who's been very bored here and cut into the brick for some reason but this wall contains all different ages and types of brick including some flints in the base the bottom's been coated in a lime mortar to try and stabilize it these houses probably have no foundations. They'll just be sitting on rafts of brickwork. Doug made me only a foot to 18 inches down into the ground. Close inspection, this wall's covered in graffiti. Some going back to 1795. This run of buildings was almost completely destroyed by fire a couple of years ago. Thatch is replaced. Gable ends have all been rebuilt and the brickwork redone, as you can see, towards the end repointed in lime mortar in a traditional and historic fashion, replacing what was there in a like-for-like -like manner. It's made a beautiful restoration. This is the centre of Silvergate Village at rush hour. Quite recently planted walnut tree sitting between a little island demarcated with three stone points.